Hello everyone, my name is Joe Sank and welcome to Zoller's Shark Series Grinder Pump Overview Webinar. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to be with us. You might find it to your benefit to make note of the email address written in light blue lettering at the bottom center of the screen. Should you have any questions during the webinar or after we wrap up today, you can send them to webinars at zoller.com and we will be sure to get back to you at the end of this webinar. All right, so now that we've covered the basics, I wanna start off by telling you a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Joe Sank. I've been with Zoller over four years now, and I'm currently in an inside, outside sales position at the Zoller Canada location. I've been in the industry for over 20 years in different roles at the distributor level, also with manufacturers, and in those positions working with engineers, mechanical and general contractors and homeowners. I will talk today about the Zoller Shark Series family of grinder pumps. First, we'll discuss the Zoller Pump Company division where you'll find light residential grinders, half to medium residential commercial units up to two horsepower. The second part of the presentation will focus on the Zoller Engineer products line, also known as ZEP. ZEP offers grinders from one to seven and a half horsepower for heavier duty commercial and municipal applications. The story behind Zoller Pump Company, its beginnings goes back to 1939, where August Pop Zoller started building pumps in his family basement. First year sales totaled five pumps. All deliveries and sales were done out of the family station wagon. By 1940, he was able to make and sell 66 pumps. At this point, production became too much to manage at home. So operations moved out of the basement. Fast forwarding to today, Zoller now manufactures submersible pumps and pump system components, which are designed, machined, and assembled at the company's headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. Currently, Zoller has over 600 plus employees, over 30 rep agencies nationwide, manufacturing plants in the United States, China, Mexico, and Canada. Over the years, production has grown to include multiple divisions, that all supply dependable products that move and treat water in a variety of different applications. In 2019, Zoller manufactured their 18 millionth pump. So you can see the Zoller company has come a long way in its 80 years of business. Even with all its growth, they've maintained it as a family owned company. Zoller Canada was established in 2007 as one of Zoller's international sales offices. We're located in Brantford, Ontario, and we share a 135,000 square foot facility with Tulsar Controls, our Zoller Controls division. Without any further ado, let's dive into today's topic. I'm gonna start off by sharing with some of the history of the grinder pumps. In the 60s and 70s, there was an increased expansion into suburban areas, coupled with a need to move sewage farther to treatment facilities. Suburban areas are less suitable for on-site treatment like septic tanks. And not all building sites are suited for gravity flow. With the introduction of low flow toilets and with the same amount of solids and debris, this proved hard on standard sewage pumps. Also, there was an increased usage of flushable wipes and other non-sewage products being flushed down toilets, which wreak havoc on a home's plumbing. Grinder pumps are essentially designed to operate on small diameter piping, typically one and a quarter inch to three inch discharge. They help eliminate some of the issues that sewage pumps may encounter. Typically used in pressure systems or systems with clogging problems. Very important to understand that it's not a solid handling pump. Grinders are essentially a two-stage machine. They first grind the solids into small particles and then pump the wastewater to a treatment facility or elsewhere. They have high pressure and high head capabilities, but lower flows when compared to a sewage pump. 
Because of the cutting action in smaller solid size, the tolerance on your impeller can be tighter, which allows you to get the higher head. The reason you get lower flows is because the small opening size on the cutter plate restricts the amount of material that can enter the pump housing. Grinders are primarily meant for pumping sanitary sewage. Also very important, it's not a chopper pump. Zoller is the only manufacturer of a double sealed reversing grinder pump. And we'll cover some more of these details about this pump later on in the presentation. I can't emphasize enough about Zoller quality. All pumps are 100% factory tested before shipping. What this means is each pump before it leaves the facility is submerged in water and tested for its published performance before shipping. The grinder pumps start at half horsepower and go up to seven and a half. The offering consists of standard and hazardous duty, also known as XP pumps, unidirectional, one direction, and reversing. There are both single and double seal models available. Here are a few characteristics of the grinder pumps that we're gonna share among the series we'll talk today about. All our grinder pumps are constructed of cast iron with a corrosion resistant powder coated epoxy finish and stainless steel hardware built for years of reliable service. The cutters are axially cutting with scissor like capability and it's hardened stainless steel cutter and disc. Our grinder pumps use a vortex impeller after the solids are shred into small pieces. They have an oil-filled hermetically sealed motor with class B insulation. Automatic reset thermal overload protected on single phase only. And their maximum operating temp is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The picture up to the top of the right is of the single directional grinder. Best way to explain the operation of the cutter is it acts like a cheese grater without the rotation. Proven tri-slice technology, we have three independent cutting channels that provide over 250,000 cuts per minute. The stainless steel cutter and plate have a 5560C hardness. So essentially with the cutter mechanism, it grinds the solids down into smaller particles of quarter inch or less, utilizing the scissor action and the cheese grater type plate with its small holes. The particles then get pushed to the vortex impeller and then just pump through the unit. Secondly, we got the lower pitcher with the reversing grinder with its cutter. The cutter can automatically alternate direction upon each new cycle to enhance blade life and free hangups. The five star cutter blade along with the modified cutter plate enable the pump to cut in both directions. Grinder pump models under the Zoller brand offer units that are recommended for light residential commercial applications up to two horsepower. First, we have the 803, 805, 807 fractional horsepower series, then the 818, 19, and 20 series, then the 841, 42, and the 840 reversing grinder, and finally, the 810, 815 progressive cavity units. These fractional horsepower grinders can pump an entire household of flushable materials. We have three sizes available, automatic and non-automatic, 115 or 230 volt single phase only, running at 3450 RPM. First, we have the half, half horsepower model 803, as you can see on the curve, the shutoff head is 35 and max flow is 35. Then we have the three quarter horse 805 series, shutoff head at 45 feet and max flow 40 gallons on the curve. Then we got the one horsepower model 807 with a shutoff of 55 and a max flow of 45 gallons per minute. They all have an auto reset thermal overload protection Internal cap and start relays are located in the top part of the housing in a dry cavity. 
single mechanical carbon ceramic seal, inch and a quarter MPT vertical discharge, and Zoller has the world's first integral automatic grinder. These particular units are used in our 915 package systems, packaged complete and job ready. These are great for fast installations, indoor and outdoor applications. They come in two different sizes, 18 by 30 fiberglass or poly, 24 by 24 poly only. Comes with a high water alarm and inch and a quarter check valve. The Shark 818, 19, and 20 series of grinders are engineered for heavier residential applications and pressure sewer systems. The 818 model is a one horsepower, 819 is a one and a half horsepower, and the 820 is a two horsepower. And here on the right, we have the curve here showing the flows and the head capabilities. They come in non automatic or automatic models with an integral control available. Durable, heavy duty, fin cast iron construction and thermally protected oil filled motor allows the pump to run much cooler. Upper and lower ball bearings, stainless steel cutter blade and plate. More torque is delivered to each cutter blade. Cutting plate decreases solids to less than 1 8 inch. Stainless steel shaft and hardware and 20 foot power cord, extra cords available as well. The 840, 41 and 42 offers essentially a step up from the previous series, capable of more residential units and just heavier duty applications essentially. 841 is a higher flow, 842 model offers less flow. All units are two horsepower running at 3450, Auto reset thermal over protection on single phase. Now this is essentially where this series offers more than the previous one. It's got a balanced vortex bronze impeller. Thermal sensor protection standard on three phase. Tandem mechanical seals with leak detection. And uh, both the thermal sensor and leak detection require a circuit in the control panel for it to function. Next, we have the uh, 840 reversing grinder, which has a star cutter that can automatically alternate direction to enhance blade life and free hangups, automatic or manually. We have a picture on the bottom left here showing the uh, five star cutter plate. Zoller offers the industry's only automatic reversing impeller and cutter assembly. This essentially virtually doubles the service life of ordinary grinder pumps. Every time the pump operates, it will reverse direction. The panel will incorporate the automatic reversing function. This enables the cutter blades and impeller to rotate in either the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. With each duty cycle, the cutters will rotate in the opposite direction from the previous operational cycle. The 810, 815 progressive cavity pumps, these are designed for high pressure sewer systems and residential sewage removal. Our pumps offer a head capacity up to 240 feet. These pumps are built for years of reliable service. An internal pressure relief valve will protect the motor and hydraulic components from extreme spikes in sewer pressure. The main difference in a progressive cavity pump is a rotor stator that drives the water as opposed to an impeller in a centrifugal pump. The rotor is the stainless steel piece with a wavy corkscrew shape, which is connected to the pump shaft. The stator is the rubber boot that the rotor sits inside of. The interference between the rotor and stator creates little pockets of water that work their way up into the volute as the rotor spins. These pockets of water then create pressure inside the volute and force water out the side discharge. Flow rates on these units range from six gallons to 15 gallons per minute. We have the model 810 and 815. 810 is one horsepower and 815 is two horsepower. They're both 230 volt single phase. 
Comes with a stainless steel hydraulic pump rotor, pressure relief valve, stainless steel mounting stand for free installation, standing installation, and pre-assembled systems are also available for these units. Next is our engineered grinders. These pump models under the ZEP brand are engineered for heavy duty wastewater applications with a number of options you won't see in other models. Upgraded mechanical seals and elastomers, moisture and temperature sensors, horizontal flange, and the ability for impeller trims. First, we have the 7008, 9, and 10 series. Next, we have the 7011, 12, and 13. Then the 7110, 11, and 12. And finally, the progressive cavity unit 702021. The 7008, 9, and 10 units have similar characteristics and performance to the Zoller pump brand 818, 819, and 820 we've seen previously. The standard motor is a 3450 RPM, available in single or three phase. The 7008 unit, it's the only one that comes in 115 volt single phase. Single phase units again have an internal cap and start relay. First, we have the one horsepower 7008. As you can see on the curve here, it's a 53 shutoff head, max flow of 43 gallons. Then we have the one and a half horsepower 7009, shutoff head at 81, max flow of 43 gallons. Then there's the two horsepower model 7010, shutoff of 107 and max flow of 46. Auto reset thermal overload protection again on single phase. Thermal sensor protection on three phase. Again, requires circuit and control panel to function. Mechanical seal, silicon carbide carbon with butanol elastomers. Square ring, seal, and gaskets are Viton material. And inch and a quarter NPT vertical discharge. Power and sensor cable are 20 foot. Next, we have the 7011, 12, and 13 applications in which these are used would be sewage lift stations, housing developments, hospitals, and just larger private developments. They come in standard and hazardous duty. Another word is XP pumps. We have the 7011 reversing grinder, the 7012 higher head unit, and the 7013 high flow. They all come in two horsepower 3450 RPM, 200 and 230 volt single phase. If you notice here, now we don't offer the 115 volt because uh, these are just much larger units now at this point. Three phase comes in all four voltages there, 200 to 575. Silicon carbide shaft seal and Viton O-rings. Moisture detection and thermal sensor with leads, three phase is standard. Again, require a circuit and a control panel to function. And single phase has the thermal overload protection standard. Now we got the big units. We have the three horsepower 7110, five horsepower 7111, seven and a half horsepower 7112. These are meant for higher head, higher flow applications. 30 diff different variations in standard and hazardous duty XP. Types of applications where these would be suited for are sewage lift stations, housing developments, and municipal projects. Large commercial projects, low pressure sewer systems, that have high vertical lift or long force mains. And a few key characteristics here to mention, they can come in two inch NPT, also two and a half, three inch horizontal flange discharge, high head, high flow and reversing capabilities. 230 volt single phase only comes with the three and five horsepower. Three phase, again, is available from 200 to 575 volt, all running at 3450 RPM. 
Thermal sensor and moisture sensor with leads, again, requires circuit in the control panel to function. Upper and lower ball bearings made of high carbon chromium steel. And these power and sensor cables are 25 feet now. Here's a number of curves showing the capability of these units. As you can see, the 71 series grinder has a max shutoff head of 183, 83 feet and increased flow considerably compared to the other units. This is the capability of these units based on the higher horsepower and just larger uh, discharge. Here we have the 70 2021 progressive cavity grinder pumps. Applications would include sanitary sewage pumping stations, pressure sewer systems, housing developments, hospitals, larger private develop developments, and commercial projects. These come in two sizes. Both are gonna be 230 single phase running at 1750 RPM this time also with internal caps and start relay. We have the one horsepower model 7020 at a max head, you get eight and a half gallons at 150 feet. Max flow would be 15 gallons per minute. The two horsepower model 7021 at maximum head, four gallons per minute at 240 feet. Maximum flow, 15 gallons per minute. Inch and a quarter NPT horizontal discharge, hydraulic rotor with deflector, stainless steel rotor and buna and stator, pressure relief valve, and again a stainless steel mounting stand for freestanding installation, and these ones also with pre-assembled systems available. The model 932 from the Zoller brand and the 6932 from the Zoller Engineer Products brand. These systems adapt to existing progressive cavity pump systems. They meet UL, CSA, NSF standards. There's a one and two horsepower, again, 230 volt. Stainless steel fitted cover, stand, discharge piping, valves and fittings. The RWD 7020 and 7021 systems come with internally mounted level controls, stainless steel check valve, lifting rope, and an anti-siphon device is optional. Here this chart, you can be, it can be found in our uh, owner's manual. This chart actually shows the limits of the grinder pump and at what point you essentially need to switch to a solids handling unit. For applications where a lift station would handle more than 60 homes, a solids handling type pump would be recommended. At that point, our 7112 high flow at the bottom of that chart shows the duplex station with 60 homes, 24,000 gallons per day. This slide is overall just like a carryover from the last one. Here we have some curves showing the difference between the 7011 high head grinder with low flow to the 6124 solids handling pump that can offer greater flow. Essentially, it's just a matter of understanding the system requirement and putting the right pump in the right application. Here we got our vortex impellers. These create centrifugal style force pushing fluid against the pump volute. Impeller vanes don't come into contact with fluid being pumped. Very reliable, non-clogging design. Though vortex impellers are less hydraulically efficient than other impeller designs, the vortex created within the pump volute effectively keeps material and debris away. This results in a fewer system clogs and less maintenance generally. They're used on pumps two horsepower and under. Next, we have our semi-open and closed impeller. They create a centrifugal force, but the fluids and solids must now pass through the impeller veins. 
even though these impeller designs are more hydraulically efficient than the vortex impeller, veins do come into contact with the fluid and solids, and they are potentially more prone to clogging as a result and jamming, mainly used on pumps over two horsepower. Here we have a chart explaining the difference between a finned and non-finned motor housing. With this graph, you can see that the reading for a housing with no fins is at 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we have the finned adapter only. 10 degrees Fahrenheit less, already we're seeing a considerable difference. And lastly, the fin motor housing and adapter. In total, it's about 15 degrees Fahrenheit difference. Clearly shows external cooling fins allow the pump to run cooler, which allows and improves motor performance and extended life over time. Here's our hazardous duty XP pumps within our grinder pump series. Hazardous duty or explosion proof rated pump has a specially enclosed motor. Should vapor and gas explode inside the motor, the frame of the motor will not be affected. The enclosure is constructed so that no explosion will ignite vapors outside the motor. They offer class one, div one, group C and D. Under the Zoller brand of pumps, it's only available in the 840, 41 and 42 series. And under the ZEP brand, it starts from 7011 series and up. Typical applications you'd uh, find these pumps get specified for are garages, like oil change places, storm sumps, municipal sewage, government projects, healthcare, um, and lots more applications as well, just to give you a bit of an idea. Okay, so after deciding what pump you need for your application, you now have to choose on which way you want to control it. If it's not just a standard pump with an integral float switch or a piggyback float switch, I guess you essentially have to consider control panels at that point. There's simplex, which would have three floats and a duplex panel would have four floats. The pump assembly can be easily lowered into position without disturbing the piping by the use of the Z-Rail disconnect system here to assist in the removal of the pumps out of a concrete, fiberglass, or steel pit. Definitely heavy units would be uh, better suited for this as well. Uh, next step is to consider the accessories, like check valves in cast iron or PVC, plug valves with handles as well. Lastly, they might require an external high water alarm. If you have an integral float or are using a piggyback float, then the high water alarm is a great option. Then we got our QLS package systems, complete grinder package systems from factory that are assembled for quicker, easy installation at job site. We can also provide unassembled systems as well. Pumps and accessories come as separate items, less the piping. The package systems typically are about three weeks delivery from factory. Here we got a, a life picture for uh, showing the installation in a basin. On the left hand picture, we have the pumps with the disconnects, all the piping, the rails, the upper brackets here. Uh, on the left and right, you can see the floats hanging there. And on the right hand system, the reason I included that picture is it shows the uh, aluminum ladder. Um, that's something that can be uh, inside a basin as well, as long as uh, spacing permits. Uh, that particular picture is an actual valve box with the valving separate from the uh, existing system. So Zoller has several videos out there that show the grinder in action, taking care of a few different household products. In these videos, you can clearly see the grinder wants the product to pass through its cutters. It does not deflect the product. It truly acts like a shark in feeding frenzy, just grinding up all that product that comes into its path in small particles. 
You can check out these videos and many more on Zoller's YouTube channel. This concludes our webinar. Once again, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Please remember, if you have any questions regarding this webinar after we sign off for the day, you can always email those to webinars at zoller.com and we'll get back to you. Thank you and have a great day.